have sworn I could fly straight up into the sky. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and we actually have a very busy weekend. We are getting ready to tackle a bunch of home projects. So the last video I did like this, you all really seemed to enjoy where I kind of just brought you guys along on our day and then we did a bunch of home projects and I kind of just shared with you everything that we had going on. So I'm gonna do the same thing today. We have quite a few things to get done. Nick is getting ready to head to Home Depot to grab some of the materials and we're just going to see how much we can actually accomplish today. So if you are new around here, I'm going to take a second, let you know a little bit more about me. My name's Sarah. I have six kids, one of those being a newborn. So obviously I'm starting this day realizing that best laid plans, we're going to try to get whatever we can done, but we also have a bunch of little kids and a new baby so we kind of just have to like roll with the punches but with that being said we're going to go ahead and get our morning started and i'm going to bring you guys along jenny had the doors off the radio loud the night was too cold for t-shirts too late now so Blair's still sleeping but I wanted to share with you guys this uh, video monitor I got this off of Amazon it connects via Wi-Fi um, so you can like adjust the sound you can zoom in zoom out you can talk to them over the microphone but this was like $45 and I feel like it's actually great quality for the price so I'm gonna link this in the description box below this little man is getting some breakfast. He wants some waffles this morning. He just woke up. There's nothing like freedom. Sixteen years old. Driving till the sky starts turning gold. What are you doing? We got two year old boy here. What's your favorite word? What do you keep saying? Poopy. Poopy. Say, would you be a boy mom if you didn't? <laughs> yeah, if you didn't hear the word poopy all the time. Poopy! <laughs> You're crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You mean a stinker this morning? Yeah. You mean a stinker? Yeah. How is Oliver allowed to be? I sing to myself just because I like the sound And there were no crowds, so I do I need one now, do I need one now? This is the backyard, he says. Woo! So this will be the permanent state of my living room all day. That's just how life is nowadays. It's rocking our table. Life with boys. Sometimes I feel like moms that only have girls or moms that have like just like one or two kids probably look at my vlogs and think like, oh my gosh, her kids are out of control. But really, I just believe in like letting them have fun, enjoy themselves, and we clean up at the end of the day and it is what it is. But I'm trying to get stuff done. So the more they're entertained, the better. Nick just called me from Home Depot trying to pick paint colors for McKinley's accent wall and it was not going well over FaceTime. So I'm gonna have to make a Home Depot run later to figure out colors for her accent wall because 
it was just, it, it wasn't gonna be a good conversation if we kept going. I'm like, no, go up, find a light pink. And he's pulling like Pepto-Bismol. I'm like, no, like light pink, like barely pink and it wasn't working. So why, I'm gonna go out later. Why do men not look? <laughs> Why do men not look? He kept saying there's not a light pink. I'm like there's a light pink But anyways, it is what it is. I will go out later um, and look for it But I'm going to try to get some iced coffee feed myself really quick I got Blair back down. She just needed a binky replaced and I'm hoping I can start sanding The door is off The radio loud The night was too cold for t-shirts Too late now nothing like free okay so this is the desk that we are going to work on today this desk used to be Nick's sisters I've actually refinished it three different times at this point but my last time I chalk painted it Navy spray painted the um, little pools had it all ready for her Nick just needed to seal the top and he never got around to it and she pretty much destroyed the top with various like this was like hot glue um, there's like crayons, like it just got destroyed. Oh, yeah, I yeah, got a stegosaurus under there. She also wants to take out this row of drawers and do shelving, like open shelving. So we're gonna do that. And then I bought new pools for these, um, more modern, cause she wants it to be white with gold, like modern pools. So I ordered those off of Amazon. So the goal of today is to get this for the most part done so we can get her room put back together. But we were going to just buy her a new desk and we actually bought one um, off Marketplace. It was like a lady who sold like pallets and when we got it home, um, it was actually damaged. So then we looked and looked and looked and couldn't find another one. So we've decided that we are going to once again refinish this. But instead of chalk painting this time, we're going to sand it. We're going to paint it with like regular paint and seal it. That way, hopefully it's good to go. I sit in my car outside restaurants and bars, reading about what's inside. I look up opinions about news and religion so I don't have to use my own mind. I should call my friends but I read their posts instead Like dancing a waltz with no partner Nobody's holding your hand Like singing duets as a solo The harmony's just in your head It's almost as if I have been everywhere Almost tasted the food, almost breathed in the air but nobody's heart ever pounded From that feeling of being surrounded By pictures of mountains People Okay, so this is going to be time consuming we're finally getting down to the original color but you can see the multiple layers of different colors that it's been but this is taking forever I'm semi considering just sanding the top and like really sealing the top and then just painting the rest of it I don't know if that would work or not but like this is time consuming messy and life can get heavy it's easier to keep it online like checking the weather to see if it's better Instead of just going outside Pretend I'm unaware But the truth is that I'm scared Like dancing a waltz with no partner Nobody's holding your hand Like singing duets as a solo the harmony's just in your head It's almost as if I have been everywhere Almost tasted the food, almost breathed in the air But nobody... McKinley had requested that we take off that edge that was there So Nick just did that She wanted it to be more of like a flat surface when she was doing arts and crafts Did you make a bunny house? Yeah, and was you my bunny? 
Yeah. Yeah. Real funny. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. He says. Oh, what's in there? Bunny. Oh, there's the bunny. What's his name? Zach. Zach. Girl, it's if it's a girl, it's Oreo. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Nobody's holding your hand. A duet's just a solo. If the harmony's all in your head I thought that I knew what a mountain was like Till I stood in the valley and looked up at the sky Okay, so Kenley and I and Blair, we had Blair back there. We just came to Home Depot. We're getting ready to go in now. Uh, we are going to pick out the paint colors for her wall. Uh oh, there's a girl's crying. Nick tried, like I said earlier, he failed miserably. So we're going to pick out the paint colors, go ahead and get the paint, and then um, hopefully start painting that today. I'm going to put the inspiration picture right here so you can see like the look we're going for. But we are going to do it as an accent wall. Um, she's going to have like a couch added in her room, and this is going to be the wall behind that. So she's super excited. Okay, we just got out of Home Depot. We ended up picking Iced Cherry and Sparkling Brook. Both of these are by Bear. So hopefully we like them on the walls. This is picking up a little bit more pink on camera than it really is. It's more of like a good mixture between like a light pink and a like blush pink. So hopefully we like them, right? We'll see. I think I wanna grab some Chick-fil-A really quick so I can eat in the car. That way as soon as I get home, I can just like keep tackling projects. I just got back from Home Depot and Nick's got quite a bit on the desk already. He said that this was three coats three cans. or three cans. Yeah. So it's taking a little bit to cover it, but it's looking good. Baby girl woke up. Is she smiling at you? Does she love you? Say hi, sister. Is that your brother? <laughs> She's smiling. So Nick, for the most part, has the desk completely painted. He was sealing it. So now we're on to project number two. This is our front room, and like I've said in a previous video, we have ordered a new sectional to go here that should be in within a couple weeks. But I have some plans for um, just bringing some more life into this room. So we are getting ready to do a wall treatment over here. So we're going to have beadboard, a shelf, and we just bought these light fixtures right here to put in either corner. This room is the only room in our house that does not have an overhead light. So we have very minimal lighting in here and we knew that we wanted to fix that. So luckily, this man right here knows a little bit about how to do some wires. <laughs> you hope so after 20 years. Yeah, he's actually a master electrician, so. You feel kind of that height? Yeah, I think so. So we're trying to figure out placement. No! Can I do this? The couches have become a playground since they're pushed together. We are actually going to put one of these couches down in McKinley's room once we get our new ones. But the electrician's hard at work over there. Hey, Sparky. How you doing? Sissy's got baby. She loves her baby sister. Oh, goodness. I was doing dishes and this escalated quickly. What do you do to my house? It's gonna be covered. It's gonna be covered. This light, or what do you call that? This outlet. Yep. Is the one in this room that controls it's sw it's all the switches. No, it's a switched outlet. The switched outlet. So basically, that's the one where it has to be plugged in there. If you turn on the light switch, it turns all the lights. It's getting real in here. It's got the wires going. Is this what you call pulling wire, babe? Yeah. I'm excited to see the finished product. So while he is in there working on getting all that done, I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner. We're just gonna do like hot dogs, hamburgers, fries, and some fruit tonight and call it done. 
So I'm gonna use my handy George Foreman to get this started. The little boys are downstairs playing and I'm surprised that they're not begging for food yet. It's almost seven o'clock. I almost forgot to feed them dinner. So we will just wing it and try to get it done really quickly tonight before they like melt down. down to eat finally hopefully they're all satisfied usually not there's usually always one kid that's not satisfied we're gonna watch Halloween Town while we eat so I just got the babies to bed but this is where we're at right now so Nick has got the beadboard installed obviously he still has to cock and get it all like finished up but he got our lights put in so we have one right there the other right there. We're also gonna do a shelf along the top similar to what's in my laundry room. The only thing is he did get the Edison bulbs, which are so pretty, but it gives off a yellowy color. So we'll probably have to change those out just for more like the daylight bulbs. But other than that, I really like those up there and I think it's really gonna help with lighting in here. So I'm liking how it's turning out so far. So this is similar to the look that we're going for. This is in our laundry room, so ignore the mess. But we have the beadboard and then the shelf, and it gives plenty of space for me to be able to decorate the top. So that's kind of similar to what we're going for in the front room. Boy, I should have known It was all just a lie No one on so it's obviously the next day, but Nick's been working on this since we got home from church and it's looking so good. Are you just down to painting now? Yeah. He's painting it all white. Gonna let it dry. Then we get to do the fun part and go shopping and decorate. Here is the after of the wall. It's late at night, so the lighting's a little off, but I love it. Let me see, I'm gonna turn this off so you can actually see the lights. So those look so good up there. We are going to change out the light bulbs for like more like daylight bulbs, but my plan is to get some various size frames to put along the top of the shelf with our new family photos, um, just to kind of like show those. And then along this wall, I have some baskets for a basket wall that I'm going to put up once we get our sectional. But I feel like this wall just added so much like depth and texture to this room. I love it. The weekend is almost over and we are finishing up the last of the projects by adding the knobs to the desk. These knobs I actually purchased off of Amazon and I love the modern sleek look that they brought to this piece. I will link these in the description box below. I highly recommend them. They are great quality. But let's take a moment and remember what the desk used to look like. She had totally destroyed this piece and I'm so glad that we were able to transform it into this. This is beautiful. It turned out way better than I even expected it to. I love the fact that we were able to modernize a family heirloom and make it into a piece that she can use for years to come. It looks great in her space and I cannot wait to finish decorating in here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed joining us on our weekend and joining us on our projects. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one. But if I believed enough, I would fly Why didn't